Um, I could use my falling stars to make enchanted night crawlers, and I could use my iron bars to make a fishing pole, which actually might be totally worth it, especially since it's raining. Uh, it's a tough call. Because, um, yeah, fishing chances are better in the rain. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I've got a ton of stuff here. I do also want to make a cooking pot so that I can cook some of these fish. But I can only do so much at a time. Speaking of which, swap that. Catch some of these guys while it's raining. I'm just really getting excessive numbers of fish. The worms at this point, I'm going to need more. So yeah, I've got... That makes some bait, and then... Uh, shove that there for the moment. Um, yeah, did I even... I have to look at my map because I forget if I even came across any good fishing holes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't even been that far yet. No, I don't really have a good fishing hole, so all that effort is sort of somewhat wasted. <laughs> if anything, I'd go underground there. Maybe under that tree. If I dig that out a little, it'd make a half-decent fishing hole. I could dump this water into that other pool over there, but that would take a little while. Kind of funny, this floating carpet is basically replacing my boots right now. But it's cool. It's like the hoverboard that you can get later. I'm not even sure if I knew that item existed. Flying carpet. <laughs> that is an awesome find. Um, okay. It's one of those boring parts I'm probably going to cut out because I'm going to spend a little bit of time digging this. Okay, so uh, this is basically what I did here. <laughs> it's kind of a funky little setup, but uh, I had to hollow this out because the way the game counts uh, for fishing, uh, you basically need as much open surface area with continual depth as possible. So. I had to leave kind of a, I don't know, I should probably just put a rope there. That would make it easier for getting up here. And then I wouldn't need that single little block there. Did I see? Yes, that's a chest. I was wondering. That looked kind of like maybe there was a chest there. And I was really unclear about that, but sure enough, it's a chest. And that flying carpet even works underwater, too, so that helps. Uh, so, yeah, this is a nice little fishing hole, and this is something I sometimes like to do, too, just to basically give myself a safe little spot to fish from. Of course, I don't have my angler yet, so therefore I don't have high-test fishing line. Ooh, armored cave fish, though, that's useful for potions, endurance potion. Still have bait. Oh, blue jellyfish, that's actually bait. So I'm actually getting okay catches already. Partly because it's raining. The slime can dance around all at once. It does look like it's got some ore in there, so probably want to kill him later. <laughs> Stab him, take his ore. Really, I'm hoping to maybe get some crates. And yeah, just ingredients for potions are always nice too, so it's a good side effect. But 
crates basically have the same stuff as chests. So instead of, you know, wandering around looking for chests, <laughs> why not fish for crates? Can be a good boost, especially when I need some uh, bars and stuff, because, of course, chests have bars in them reasonably often. See how long this last single bait can last here. It's raining and it's dawn though, so this is basically the best time to be fishing. One of the best anyway. There's a crate. Nice. Oh, and a, that was the last one. Now out of bait. Let's see what I got. Oh, I got some more bait. Huh. There you go. Well, I don't know how much fishing you want to watch. May or may not cut a bit out. Rockfish. That's a good one. Alright, so I think... Uh, it's late enough now that I'm not getting the optimal fishing bonus and my catches are not getting as good. I'm starting to get more bass in particular, but uh, in terms of what I got, I got a zephyr fish, zephyr fish as well, which of course is a pet, uh, so I can switch that out for the bunny, although I don't know, I might stick with the bunny. If you're wondering why my bunny is blue, it's because of my character's colors, that's how that works. Uh, you can build a dresser and change those in-game, by the way. Uh, rockfish though... Um, yeah, actually, that's a big upgrade in, t in damage compared to my actual sword. Uh, it's slower, but that's a lot more damage. Um, and also, it works as a hammer, so I can save a little inventory. I've still got some bait left here, and I've got uh, an herb bag. And this guy's carrying some sort of ore, so let's... Kill him. Oh, gold ore. Nice. Alrighty then. Um, so yeah, let's get out of here. And yeah, with this flying carpet, I could actually float across the entrance to the uh, underground desert there. Another yellow marigold. Oh, seed. Yeah, because I got a blowpipe. Um, oh, that's a... I didn't even notice that. That's a strange plant right there. So we may be welcoming our dye trader shortly. I know I did a guide on it, but I forget right now what the other requirement is. I know one strange plant will do it, or one regular dye plant and something else. <laughs> I just forget the something else at the moment. But yeah, I've got throwing knives, I've got, well, yeah, it's not a good bow, uh, versus this, hmm. Yeah, that's nine plus three, that's basically the same as the throwing knives. It's more of a renewable resource, though. Yep, there's our die trader. Now I could kill him and get a good sword, but I think this rockfish might be better, actually, so... <laughs> So I'm not too worried about it. Rain just ended, so I can swap that. Finish building my platform. Hopefully without too much further harassment. I can be a little less afraid of these uh, vultures. So it won't take too many whacks from this rockfish. To whack off the vultures? Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you vultures don't stand a chance. Hmm. That might, though. We're going to be have to be a little careful about that. My defense is so low, but my offense is now pretty potent. I could grab water leaf, but it's re better to grab it in the rain and get the seeds. I don't really need it. Ah, I was afraid of that. Okay, throwing knives to the rescue. We've got to back up to those now, too, so. I'm feeling good. 
I may still have crappy armor. Oh, I just found the jungle. You know, the funny thing is most of my games, the jungle has been the other side of the world. Uh, I very rarely had... Oh yeah, right, this is a hammer. It's the only downside. I'm accidentally, like, deforming the world. <laughs> Alright, I may not want to go to the jungle yet. Um, this tree is kind of convenient at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, wooden armor, jungle... Yeah, let's not. Let's head back to base. I gotta stash a lot of this loot anyway, so let's do that. And so, in case you can't tell by this NPC village and all the stuff I've got going on here at this point, this is not um, the end of the series, of course. This is just the end of the episode. There's lots more coming. Uh, I recorded a big batch of stuff to begin with, and there will be more coming after that as well. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time in the next episode. Bye for now.